Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm gonna show you how to move a collision shape where BuildBox doesn't even want you to have it. Check out this hack. Okay, so what does that mean, make a collision shape where you're not even allowed to go? If you wanna move the collision editor beyond the scope of the current character shape, this is how you do it. So here, you can see that it's already way above here. Now I'll just go ahead and change this back to polygon, and change it to circle, and I'm gonna close it, and then reopen it, and you can see, it's no longer up here. Now, when I try to go up here, I can't. It's, it's not possible because there's a barrier around the shape, which is probably for safety reasons, just to make sure you don't screw every, anything up. But I specifically wanted to go up here because in the game, the character is running into enemies and I want the collision shape to be above the enemies so that the collision editor does not run into the enemy. What I do is I go to animation and I move the character up. Currently, the character is at zero, zero. So I move it to zero and then 150 up. Okay, look at that. So now the character is no longer where it was. And now I go to the collision shape and you can see this is where the shape was previously. So this is, and because it's outside of the box, you're not able to like touch it or mess with it. So what you do is you bring it over here and you select polygon and circle. And then this one just kind of gets voided. It's still there because BuildBox is trying to do what you tell it to do. And it's a little confused on what happened. See? And now it's gone. So now I move this all the way up to make it even higher. I close it. And then I go back to the animation and I bring the position back to zero zero and check it out see the collision shape is now all the way up there and it works perfectly you can see when it jumps and that's how you move the collision editor higher than it's allowed to be don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time